Please. Angie, I, I, I believe in karma. You know, I, I, um, uh, yeah, I'll tell you a, a very quick story. I, I fired my biggest client and, it, and I did this about a year into, into it when I was still a struggling advisor because it takes two or three years, three years to build this thing. Mm -hmm. And he was, well, go ahead and, you know, pick your favorite bad term for somebody. You know, he was an <laughs> ass. He, you know, more than anything else, he was unreasonable. Mm. And, and, I, I, and I, he had, you know, I, he, he had over seven figures with me mm. and, and I, I said, you know, I, I, I sat with him and he, he let me have it over something that had nothing to do with me. And I said, you know, I, I don't think this is going to work out. And you know what? I survived, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I, in looking back, I'm glad I did that. Now that's not something you want to have happen every other day. No. Oh. But every once in a while, it's good for you to, to stick up. And, and you were talking about, um, you know, values. Well, values can be, uh, look, I'm going to be cynical here. Values can be a marketing device, mm -hmm. right? And, and so there's another thing where if you, if you stick to your values, but you communicate your values, well, then you, again, mm -hmm. win-win situation. You get to be what you want, and then you attract people who like that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I have, you know, I have kind of a related story and it's interesting. I, I, I usually record in batches and before